Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Good day to grade 12 So today we will be discussing about ellipsis um, But on this discussion we will not deal more with the theoretical approach paano, How we arrive with the following formulas and properties But simply the application itself Because uh, that's, that is what is important as of now Okay, so ellipses generally are oblong in shape If you're familiar of course with oblong and then it will have four major parts okay we have the center or the middle yung ating figure we have the vertices these two vertices are just simply located at the long end of your um, ellipses pag sinabing long end yan isang habang yan ito yung mahaba and then ito yung short okay and then we have also our co-vertices which is w2 and w1 that's one please okay vertices which is located at the short ends of your um, uh, ellipses and then we will have our foci okay which is um, collinear to the two vertices okay so just like again in our given uh, parabola so this uh, ellipses will have the following distances um, in ref uh, in reference to our center okay in reference to the center the vertex is just simply a units away a units okay and then our um, covert is just simply b units away from our center and lastly we have our foci which is c units away from our center okay so take a note of those followings kasi mangyari dyan, we will find the coordinates of our vertices our covertices and our foci depending on the given uh, value which is of course yung A, B, and C. Okay, so we will try to define those things. So firstly po, in our given um, this one, itong uh, center at 0, 0, you will notice here. Center at 0, 0. Ang ginagamit natin ng formula is this one. Okay? And then for our center na, uh, for our center that is not on the um, origin, which is of course 0, 0, we will use this formula. Okay? The next one, para dun sa ating, uh, say, a vertical ellipsis, we will have it like this. Ito yung formula natin. And lastly, if we have our ellipsis that is vertical in, in figure, pero but um, the center is not on the origin, at this is the formula that we will use. Okay? So you will notice that the formula, that the general formula that we are using is somewhat similar to a circle. Or in the H and K, is H is um, needed for X, is for X, and then K is for Y. So, ito yung part niya. This is our those two. Okay? So, let's uh, try to find ano, what is the um, center, foci, and vertex, and covertices of our first figure. Okay? So, since of course, this is the center, so this is, uh, and this has a value of 0 and 0, we will refer to that this is our point of reference so since this is a units to the left therefore and this is on the x-axis the only thing that will change here would be the value of the x which is zero so our send uh, for our vertex two ito yan. okay so it's a units to the left and a units to the right so this is our value okay next one for our foci since our foci is, of course, point of reference is the center, it's C units to the right and C units to the left. Therefore, our foci will have the value of C, but the value of C will be placed on X again because, of course, the foci and vertices, they lie on the X axis. So, ito yung ating foci. Okay? And then, our co-vertices, which is um, 0 and negative B, I, I mean, sorry, is B co-vertices. Therefore, it's um, B units up and B units down. So, of course, if it is up, it's positive value. So, ito yan. And if it is down, it's a negative value. So, yan. yan. So, meaning for our um, given, okay, given first, ito, the first given, we will refer to this following values. Okay? But then again, kung yan ang HK, the only thing that will change is, of course, yung HK. Then you have to 
amend your foci. So, mangyayari dito, para sa foci natin, is it, magkakaroon ka lang ng extra H and K. So, for example, dito sa foci na una, at dito, dito sa foci na yan, mangyayari lang dyan, dadagdagan mo lang ng H, H minus C, and then yung K, and then you will have um, H plus C, and then your K. Hindi na, ang, hindi naman nagbabago yung Y. The Y does not change. But the only thing that will change is of course your H. Okay? Or your X value. Same goes dito. Ganun din. Your vertices will be always referring to your center. Which is as H, K. So, meron ang H minus A. And then K. Then you will have H plus A. And then you will have K. Okay? And as for your co-vertices, it's just simply H. Since that is 0, wala siya katabi. K minus B. And you will have H, K plus B. And so on. So, it will change depending on your given. And of course, the given for our, the values of this 4 will change depending whether also it is a vertical, this one, or your horizontal one. Okay? So, this would be your values. Okay? So, it will depend on you whether your given will be um, this one or this one. Okay? And also, it will also depend on ano ba ibibigay sa inyo. Okay? So, it's also, it also depends on your understanding. So, either um, you will create this one or you, you, you will just refer to the given. Okay? So, say, um, let's have an example so that you can better understand. Ano ba yung purpose? What is the purpose of these ones? Okay? What is their purpose? So, and also, what is the purpose of these formulas? Kasi they are very, you know, figure-specific. Okay? They are very figure-specific. So, on our next video, um, I will show to you a vid um, an example of on how to answer um our uh, problems regarding ellipses okay so thank you for listening everyone and assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh